Now, please make sure to not make that mistake because I was told that your passport will just keep going round and round and they won't be able to track it. It's going to save you flight tickets and guys, you don't want to know the amount. Let's not even convert. <laughs> In case you do not get your passport and it's been told that it's been sent out for a while and you didn't get it, you can always use that tracking number to track where your passport is. Very important, guys. Do not seal your envelope because they are going to be sending it back to you in that envelope hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is yemc and if you are seeing this face for the very first time you know what to do just subscribe guys just subscribe because i'm not going anywhere i just did all of this sat down did everything just to film a video or two for you guys today let's see how that goes anyway so hi guys my name is yemc and i'm an international student living in saskatchewan canada <laughs> and i make videos about how to move to canada everything about coming to canada as a student and i also try to make videos from time to time for permanent residents so if this is the channel you have been looking for then you're most definitely welcome just subscribe and hit the notification button so that every time i post a video you will be notified okay so this video is based on popular demand <laughs> and i am going to be talking about of course you've seen the title so i'm going to be talking about the documents that you need for your passport renewal in canada for nigerians also i'm going to talk about the timeline and some of the important stuff to keep in mind before even leaving nigeria and what else what else what else i guess that's it important things to avoid also when you are at the nigerian high commission in ottawa so let us go into this video okay the first thing i'm going to tell you and i'm going to look look down for this ones because i wrote them down <laughs> y'all should have already been used to this by now so important stuff you must apply for a new passport six months before expiration so i'm sure you're clear on that one another important thing i wanted to tell you is prior to covid the nigerian high commission sent officials to different provinces to capture you know for the biometric information and just take all of your data your documents and they i don't know if i don't think that they give you the passport immediately but i mean it just is the stress for you because they come to your province and you just go to a nearby place where they are located in your province and you have it sorted okay so another thing is currently they only have five years booklets available so if you are trying to renew your passport here in canada you can only have access to the 32 pages five years booklet they currently do not run the 10 years passport for you um before you leave nigeria try to ask if you can get a new passport so like i said once your passport is six months to expiration you are advised to get a new one but sometimes because i've heard people say this and please don't quote me <laughs> but sometimes when it's even like one year before expiration some people still have a way of getting a new one so just ask because you never can tell if it's possible then do it before you come down here and i'm going to tell you the reason why um most times the border officers issue study permit based on the expiration date so the reason why a lot of us have to go to ottawa to get a new passport is because it also affects your study permit expiration date so take for instance you have a program that should run till like november sorry december next year but because your passport is expiring next year uh march or april then the border officer can only stamp till the date of your passport expiration i hope you get what i mean so you'd have to now go to ottawa to get a new passport so that i can apply for study permit extension which also costs money <laughs> and then you're able to get your study permit extended till december next year so i'm just trying to paint a scenario just so that you understand what i am saying so like i said i'm going to refer back to the point i made on if it is possible for you to get a new one before you come down to canada please do it because it's going to save you a whole lot it's going to save you flight tickets and i'm sure you guys are aware of the general inflation in the world right now it's going to save you flight tickets and guys you don't want to know the amount let's not even convert <laughs> it's also going to save you cost of transporting you know within ottawa and also like coming back to um your location so it's going to save you all of those costs and 
of course it will give you peace of mind because your study permit will still be intact like it will cover the period when you're still gonna be a student okay so yeah i hope that that gives you important tips to make sure to take note of before you leave nigeria also the reason why i'm making this video is because people asked I think I mentioned that anyway so I went to Ottawa recently and that's why I have the knowledge of what I'm telling you I'm gonna leave a link to the website where you apply for a new one because of course you have to get an appointment date you have to apply and just come over to submit your physical documents I'm gonna go into all of those in a bit but I'll leave the link to apply in the description box so for those people that don't use to check the description box then you want to check right now okay <laughs> so prior to August last month month i'm filming in september people were getting their passports really late and that's because they didn't have booklets here in canada so they needed to get more booklets to have it dispatched to people okay so people were getting it like three months i have a friend that applied since i guess march or is it may may i think march or may and she just got it like august last month so there was shortage and it affected a lot of people anyway but when i was trying to capture mine last month um we got a notification i won't say a notification they put it up on their on their page i guess on twitter or instagram saying the people that captured august 16th 17th and 18th will be getting their passport dispatched to them on september 1st so right now they are fast tracking things um so it's faster now the documents that you will need i'm also gonna leave that on the screen for you so you can take a screenshot like pause the video take a screenshot just so that you can understand whatever i'm saying right now but i'm still gonna mention it to you the first thing is your printed copy of your appointment letter which you, you would have already gotten when you're done picking an appointment date there is a document like a pdf that comes up that you can save so you want to print that um you have to get money order or fifty dollars and it has to be addressed to the nigeria high commission yeah i guess it's nigeria not nigerian so it is the nigeria high commission that will be the beneficiary and of course the payee the payer which is somewhere at the bottom would be you your name in full exactly how it is on your passport so i guess it's like last name first name and then your the initial of your middle name i'm pretty sure yeah so you can get the money order a shoppers drug mart london drug any canada post office the next one is the photocopy of your biodata page so the first page of your international passport make a photocopy of that page um also you'll be getting a regional envelope for those people that are ontario residents then you need just a regional envelope because it's like 20 I, I don't know the amount for regional envelope but i know for people outside ottawa or ontario which is for we for example we have to get the national envelope which is about 22 dollars that was the amount i paid so on it you write your address your house address please and please make sure because i made this mistake and thank goodness thank god <laughs> one of the officer just it, it wasn't even supposed to check my document i was trying to submit it and just looked at him like you didn't put your apartment number so in canada we have apartment number and then we have your house address so you don't just put one two three four mark Ketcha street or something that you have to put unit one one two three four mark Ketcha street something like that and then put your city and your province please make sure to not make that mistake because i was told that your passport will just keep going round and round and they won't be able to track it yes that brings me to this because i didn't put that down make sure that the tracking number that you get because you're going to take out like a tracking number keep it very well so that in case you do not get your passport and it's been told that it's been sent out for a while and you didn't get it you can always use that tracking number to track where your passport is very important guys i missed that in my paper but yeah holy spirit is working <laughs> so passport and acknowledgement slip as well so your physical passport and also the acknowledgement slip that you get from the website so that website you're going to apply like it takes you through different stages but i'm very sure that you get an acknowledgement slip so your physical passport your acknowledgement slip also your passport application form that also will be generated on the website copy of your expired permit or passport you had sent to them during your application so this is more like a repetition but for some people people that 
you know submitted the study permit i don't think this is important because i didn't take it along but in case you want to you can take a copy of your expired study permit for those people that has their expired because mine wasn't expired i just wanted to do it beforehand six months to expiration so i think you should take it along if your study permit already expired um, also two current passport photographs with white background 32 mm by 45 mm that's important so lastly um the important things to make sure not to avoid because like i said i also almost made the mistake is make sure that you include your unit number on your envelope not just your address okay and also do not seal the envelope when you finish processing so when i finished processing and i was told to drop my passport in the national envelope and leave i sealed it because i saw someone sealing hers and that was the first person before me you guys would have seen the video i guess so uh, the person got there before me and i just felt like well maybe she was told to seal it because at first i was like i'm not supposed to seal this thing because they'll still send a new one to me but anyway i sealed it so do not seal yours do not seal your envelope because they are going to be sending it back to you in that envelope so don't seal it because they'll be sending the new one to you i hope i'm not blabbing okay guys so that's what i wanted to share with you if you have further questions let me know in the comment section and i would attend to it as soon as i can also don't forget to like share and subscribe and as well i've never said this before but follow me on my instagram i'm trying to be active on there it's not easy guys school has resumed <laughs> okay i will see you guys in my next video bye guys